Hey, what's up, James? Jamie here. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am coming at you with something a little bit different. Um, I said that really excitedly. Uh, I don't know why. And I just hit my microphone again. I'm really bad at hitting my microphone, and I don't know why. Um, but, yeah, today I thought I'd come at you guys with a little bit of a different video. Um, I mean, I wouldn't really say it's different because I say everything in my channel is different nowadays. But, um, there, this video will be a lot different to what I normally post. Not in the fact that it's serious or anything, but in the fact that it's explaining something and telling you how I started something and whatnot. Because um, if you guys don't know, for the past six years now, I have been uh, role-playing. And by role-playing, I mean playing Dungeons and & Dragons and stuff like that. Um, and some of you may not know that about me, well, most of you probably do know about me, considering I have my uh, RPG reading series that I that will be back soon. Trust me, I will have another episode of that up very soon. Um, but yeah, so um, with, for about five or six years now, I have been role playing Dungeons and Dragons. Um, and what the hell was that? I think my cat just knocked something off of, like, my side table. Um, but, yeah, for the past five or six years, I have been role-playing Dungeons & Dragons. And, um, so, how I got my start was actually how most people got their start. Um, my, one of my friends from middle school, he asked me, like, this... I think this is around 8th grade. Uh, me and him were friends and have been friends since 7th grade. Uh, we met in art class and we were instantly friends. Um, but I didn't know he played Dungeons and Dragons until 8th grade when I called him asking, Hey, you want to hang out this weekend? He's like, no, sorry, I'm role playing with my family. And I'm like, oh, what do you mean? He's like, Dungeons & Dragons. Have you ever heard of it? I'm like, yeah, I've heard of it, but I've never actually played it. And he's like, well, it's really fun. Uh, me and my family do this every weekend. And I'm like, hey, yo, think I could join? Like, I asked him if I could join. And he asked his parents. And they they were like, yeah, sure, we could teach him how to play it. And at this point, we were playing 2nd Edition. And if you're thinking about playing Dungeons & Dragons, do not play 2nd Edition by any means. 2nd Edition is the worst. Like, it's the worst thing known to mankind. And so anyways, I asked him if I could uh, play with them. And once he asked his mom and his parents, they said, sure, we need another player. And we were, even then, we were short on players. His dad, who, the stepdad, who is our GM... If you guys don't know what GM is, it's Game Master, or a lot of people say DM, which is Dungeon Master, but I say GM. Um, but, anyways, so what had happened? What his his dad was still playing. His stepdad was still playing. Um, the um, was still playing character as well as GMing. And if you guys don't know who. I'm talking about, I'm talking about my homie Magic Thunder and his stepdad, uh, GM Renavion, who is at the, on the Dance with the Dink Batch channel, links both of their channels in the description below. Um, but yeah, so it started off with just me, Magic Thunder, his mom, and his stepdad. That was, it was just the four of us. Um, and so during that time, they, I was learning how to play and I started getting the hang of it. Um, in my first ever character, I will never forget this character, I played a half-orc, uh, barbarian. Well, no, I played a half-orc fighter. That's what it was. Because I don't think they had barbarians in 2nd edition. They might have, uh, but I can't remember. But anyway, so I was a half-orc fighter. And, what, <laughs> I was probably the worst fighter ever. Like, I was, I was more of a ranger than a fighter. Like, it's how, his mom... Uh, Magic Thunder's mom was the ranger, but I was more of a ranger than the ranger while I was playing a half orc fighter. Like, it was, it, it was weird, and um, our characters were. I was the half orc fighter or barbarian, whichever it was. I can't remember because I don't know where that character sheet went. 
um, Magic Thunder was a wizard, and then he was a source. He was a wizard, and then he was like a sorcerer, I think, and then he went back to wizard, and he was a magic user constantly. His mom was the ranger, and his dad, his stepdad, was the GM, and he also played a cleric because we needed a healer in the group. And there was only three of us, and one person couldn't play two characters, so he had to play the character. And so we played second edition for a while until his dad introduced us, his stepdad. I keep saying his dad. He's technically his dad at this point. So if I say that and you're watching this, bro, I'm, I, fuck it. Um, you're pra- you're practically my dad too at this point. Yeah, I mean, in my phone, you're named dad number two. But anyways, um, so we played that until his until uh, our G- GM Renavion he um, introduced us to Deadlands, and while Deadlands. It couldn't be run. The GM couldn't run while also playing a character, because it, it's really complicated to do that. Um, like playing an actual character, playing an an NPC is perfectly easy in any system you use. But if you're playing an actual player that's going to be in the group constantly, it's almost impossible to play in Deadlands. Um, so with Deadlands, we need to find one other person, and that's when my boy Preston, our smart sandwich, if you guys remember him, and I, he was in like one, or, he was in a few of my vlogs. Um, we, he, I, we invited him to be in the group and it was fun. Deadlands was amazing. Unfortunately, uh, Preston, he couldn't make it. Uh, he was only able to make it to like three sessions and then he wasn't able to make it anymore because he had other responsibilities at home, but we still continued what he got our Renavion. He just threw in some NPCs to be threw in an NPC to be in our group for a little while but then we just stopped playing Deadlands altogether um because Renavion couldn't continue writing the story in the amount of time we've been playing it um and the lack of having a fourth player in the group uh was really putting a damper on us so we stopped playing Deadlands and we went and then at that point we went to Pathfinder we played Pathfinder for once for like one or two sessions while we were getting the hang of it, and then I wasn't able to show up anymore. Um, I wasn't able to show the first two weeks were because my grandma was moving, and I had to help her move because uh, she was moving from up north down to here where I live. Because uh, if you guys don't know, I live in Michigan. We call up we call the top of the Lower Peninsula up north, and that's it. But she lived, like, at the top of Michigan. Not the Upper Peninsula, but the top of the Lower Peninsula. Uh, she lived, like, way up there. And it was take it would take a while for us to get all of her stuff there. Because it, was, it wasn't going to fit all in one trip. And we weren't about to rent a U-Haul um, to drive four and a half hours up to the top of Michigan to, drive and, to get all her stuff and drive another fort, which would probably have taken, like, four or five hours in its own to get all the stuff in the u-haul and then drive it all the way back down so we made numerous trips up and down um and at this point we had a van so it was pretty simple to get everything in there and we weren't the only ones uh doing it some other family members we were also were also helping us move um helping us move her into her new place um, which she has moved out of, which she moved out of last year, but she moved out from up there and I wasn't able to do anything. I wasn't able to show up because I was helping her every day after school for the next two weeks. And Tyler's parents were like, okay, we understand that. But then I didn't show up for the next two weeks, for another two weeks after that. The first week was because I was really tired of helping for help about of helping my grandma not like i wasn't tired of helping her like i didn't want to help her anymore but i was tired from helping her that's what i was looking for um so i just wanted to take that entire week focus on school and relax um try and get my grades back up from what i lost helping her move um thankfully my teachers were really most of my teachers at least were really cool about it and they allowed me to turn my work late for full credit because of it because they understood too um and so what so that week, I just wanted to take completely off. I didn't want to do anything, so let's focus on school, like I said. 
and I wanted to just relax. Um, but then the next week rolled around, and I don't know, I can't remember exactly why I missed that week. I, I, it was either, I think it was because I forgot that I gamed with them, or I just didn't want to go there that weekend or something like that. I can't remember exactly. Um, but I didn't show up for that weekend, so I missed an entire month of gaming, which didn't allow them to game. And because of that, they stopped playing D&D for that entire year. Um, which, so they stopped gaming for that entire year of 8th grade. No, of ninth grade, freshman year. They didn't game, I think it was from like the end of 8th grade up until like the first half of freshman year they didn't game at all because of me and then um tyler we had one of our classes together freshman year and i'm like hey oh dude we haven't hung out in a little while what are you doing this week and he's like oh i'm playing D D with my parents and i'm like oh sweet can i join again and he's like and um he was really hesitant about saying anything but eventually he said that uh he doesn't know because of the month i missed and what the fuck? And we are back. Sorry about that. Somebody called me. I don't know who the fuck it was. But I proceeded to throw my phone in a completely opposite direction. So that way that didn't happen. Um, so sorry if that little jump cut starts off like really weird because of the gameplay and whatnot. Um, but, or like whatever I put in here. So that way you guys don't just listen to my voice and you have some sort of form of visuals to watch while you're listening to my monotone ass. Um, but no, um, but anyways, where were we? Um, oh yeah, so he said that he was really hesitant to, uh, um, give me an answer, but he eventually came out and said that, um, he, his parents, they didn't necessarily want me to come back and game because they liked the way I gamed and I was, it was really fun and they enjoyed me being over there. But they were hesitant in having me come back because of that entire month that I missed. So they didn't want that to happen again. Um, and so what had happened was he said, him being an extremely good friend, he said that he would go home that day and talk to them about it. And then he would give me an answer the next day. Um... So he went home, talked to them about it, and he said that he it took a lot of convincing from him, but he managed to convince them to let give me one more chance in game with them. And I'm like, okay, I won't screw this up. I I promise you, I will have the most legitimate reason for not showing up ever, um, if I don't ever show up. Um, and so then that was that was it. Um, and so. He's, he went on to tell me, we're going to have two new people joining the group that you don't know. Um, and my pa and his parents wanted me to come over that weekend that they were gaming to meet them and then also create my character. Well, due to unforeseen circumstances, a.k.a. my job when I worked at Little Caesars. Fuck you, Little Caesars, by the way. Um, but when I worked at Little Caesars, I didn't get my schedule to work until that Sunday. So what I had to no that I didn't get until that Monday. So I wasn't able to like talk to my boss about when I could work and when I couldn't um because we talked about this like me and him talked about this I mean Magic Thunder. We talked about this after I got my schedule. And he didn't know I worked at Little Caesars. He didn't. Um, so what he did was what, we, what happened was I had to work and I couldn't call off because I obviously needed the money. I was cause at this point at this point it's sophomore year um, because they didn't game at all during the summer that year. Um, and we started talking about it this at the end of. Um, freshman year so we're the sophomore year at this point and so he talked to his parents about it like he said and they said they gave me one more chance and then i had to work the week they wanted me to come over and make my character 
Well, that didn't make things better for me. Um, because with that one, they said that they gave me that one more chance. Like I said, because they liked the way I gamed, and they liked have, and they liked the fact that Tyler, uh, Magic Thunder, he had friends that were interested in what he did. Um, so what happened was Magic Thunder. He talked to me that the next week when we were at school and asked, "Hey, dude, why didn't you show up? My parents were really pissed off that you weren't able to show up." Uh, to create your character after I did all this pleading to get you to come to get you back into the group and I'm like yeah dude sorry I had to work I couldn't do anything about it um and that was it we had that conversation he's like okay well I'm gonna try one more time to try and get you back into the group try and get you into the group and if you can't do that I'm done we're done with you you're not coming back into the group um that's pretty much what he told me, and so he went home that day, talked to his parents about it again, gave him the re gave him my reason. They're like, okay, but this is the last time that this is the last chance he has. If he doesn't come over this weekend to meet the group and create his character, we're done. Um, and so he came back that day and told me, I'm like, yeah, I can make it this weekend. I I promise I'll make it this weekend. Um, and so. Um, I did manage to make it over that weekend. It was Saturday. I managed to make it over because I didn't work until that Sunday. So I was able to spend the night and I didn't have to go to work till late that day. Um, so I went there and I created my character. My first, this was for Pathfinder 2. And I played a, uh, barbarian. I think... I think I played a Dwarven Barbarian. I can't remember exactly. It was either a Dwarven Barbarian or it was a Ranger. One of the two. I can't remember exactly which one it was. But, yeah, I played... I didn't play a Magic class because I don't like Magic classes. So I played a Fighting class. Um, and I created it and my dude was pretty, pretty cool, pretty good. Um... And we played Pathfinder for a good long while. We played that for maybe about... We played... Actually, we played it for like th three or four months. But one of our group members, Kyle, he, whenever he was... He, he was probably... I don't want to like shit on him in case he watches these videos. But he was probably the worst of the bunch. So he would get distracted way too easily. I don't know if he has ADD or not. But he would get distracted way too easily. And because he, Magic Thunder and them, they have cats. And he all he would do during the sessions was play with the cats. Or he would worry about, like, whatever technology he had on him. Like, he always had his iPod and he would always worry about, um, what he, um, like, what he would always worry about his iPod. I mean, I know at one point in the middle of a game session, because I, I always brought my iPad over so that we would to put on some music because my iPad speaker was amazing, and I would always turn on some like ambiance music so that way we wouldn't like, not so that way it wouldn't be just completely quiet and us talking. Um, so I turned that on all the time and he's like hey dude can i see in the middle of a session he's like dude can i see your ipad i need to look up how to fix my ipod and i'm like what you want to fix your ipod in the middle of a game session like what what the fuck and i'm like you know what fuck it if you die you die i don't care uh so i, I gave him the ipod the ipad he looked up on youtube how to fix his ipod ipod or some shit like that and he just did that for most of the session like whenever it was her turn his turn he would, like, be really confused at what's going on. Um, and so it's, um, it came to, it, it, he showed up for, like, two or three sessions, did nothing but play with the cats or mess with his iPod or whatever, and he would, like, always bring over this shit and expect me or one of our other group members who always brought over, our, we always brought over our laptop so that when we're done with the session, we have something to do um, besides play PlayStation or whatever. And he would always bring something over and expect, he, he always expected me and this other group member, 
um, haphazardness, um, also another person with the YouTube channel, link in the description below, um, he would always expect us to be, to download something, he, like, at one point, he, at one time, he expected us to download an emulator on our, on our laptops, so that way, he, we could, like, he could use his DS, and we could all play, like, Smash Bros, or some shit like that, I'm like, no, I'm not gonna download something on my laptop that could possibly destroy my laptop, and... Just so that way you can play Smash Bros. Like, I'm not going to do that. So I made up some stupid-ass excuse about how much space my laptop had and whatnot. And he fell for it easily. Um, and, but, like, a, maybe a session after that, he just didn't show up. Um, and he gave he always gave the dumbest reasons for not being able to show up. Like, he gave us one, at one he lived, like, four blocks away from magic thunder's house and he's like oh well my mom couldn't give me a ride and then like the week after that he said oh my uncle's in the hospital and then the week after that he said his mom would give a, give him a ride and he would be there be there a little late and he would show up around maybe nine um I'm like okay we'll just uh we'll start and then you can jump in um when you get here and he never showed up um, so eventually we just got fed up with him and we kicked him out of the group. Um, but that still left us with four, it left us with four players, which means we did have a, um, decent group. We still had like a decent size, uh, like an average size group, I would say. Um, so yeah, we, we still did that and we gamed for a little while. So at that point it was me haphazardness magic thunder and his mom we were gaming um but we still were missing that crucial we were still missing that crucial fifth player that would come in and like help us because haphazardness was a sorcerer uh magic thunder was i think at this i think in the, this one he was can't remember what he was but i think i think he was some form of like fighter um then uh his mom was a cleric and then but we, we and like i said i was i was the fighter and so and i was i think i was a, oh yeah i was a fighter because i was a bar yeah i was a dwarf and barbarian because um Kyle he was a human warrior um but we still needed another um close quarters fighter because magic thunder he was a ranger that's what he was he was a ranger and he was like i said he like the name says he was a ranger he was ranged and so was haphazardness he was a sorcerer he was ranged as well neither of them could really get into combat uh close up same and you never want your cleric to get up into melee combat because they're the healer you need them alive in order to heal you um so i was always the one going up and fighting everything uh, so we needed another melee combatant. Well, that's when, uh, Magic Thunder's cousin Alex joined the group. Um, we taught him how to play and everything, and he is the, one of the most complicated people to understand while playing D&D. Like, no joke. He was extremely random and I mean, he was still learning the game too, so he did a lot of things really wrong. He did a lot of things really right. He did, it was just really sporadic with him, though. From like I said, he was just learning the game, so I wasn't really like upset with him. Um, and so I mean, there were times that I got really pissed off at him, but I mean, that was about uh, it was like maybe once or twice. But yeah, so um, we were. He, we invite he we invited him into the group he joined and it was he he hit it off with us like extremely quickly like we all um we all enjoyed him being there and his style of gaming was really hilarious like because if you guys don't know in D D there are alignments there's i think nine alignments there's lawful good lawful neutral lawful evil um true neutral um neutral good neutral e uh chaotic e neutral evil 
chaotic good, chaotic neutral, and chaotic evil. Um, and so he was um, a neutral. He was a lawful. He was a neutral good, lawful neutral character, which means no. He was a neutral good character. No, he's a chaotic. He was a chaotic neutral character. Um, and so what he did was he, um, uh, what should we call it? He was, he played it. He didn't really play his alignment too much, but Renavion doesn't really like force us to play our alignments. Um, and he talks about all, he talks about a lot of this stuff in one of his earlier videos called Chit Chat, I'll leave a description. I'll leave a link to that video and underneath his video link. Um, but underneath, I'll leave that video link underneath his channel link. But yeah, so he never really forces us to play our alignment to the max. But there's a few of us who do. Um, I personally don't uh, because I always play neutral characters. Um, like I use, I've always played true neutral characters except for when I first started. I played a lawful good character. Um, because I didn't know what I was doing and following the path of goodness, I guess, was the easiest thing to do. But I remember my – lots of funny stories about Alex, but two always stick out. One was when I first met Alex, I thought he was a girl. I, 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 I wasn't the only one either. Haphazardness, when he first met him, I, he thought he was a girl too. Like because he had like this big-ass like afro – but it looked like a female afro, and it was I thought I thought he was a chick, um, and I always I always but I didn't know for sure, so I always refrained from saying he or she, and that was until he like I heard Tyler say he was a dude or whatever, um, so anyway but yeah so. There was that, and then another story was that this this village was under attack by like sorcerers and undead, like an undead army or whatever, and we had to go in and try and save as many people as we could. And he, being a chaotic neutral character, I guess said, "Let's just leave them," because one of the sorcerers was like controlling this like animated dragon. I guess it was an illusionary dragon. Um. And he was, we saw him controlling. He's like, ah, let the let the entire village die. That's what Alex said. He's like, we can let the entire village die. I'll sit here and watch it burn. And it was, he just went back and forth between good and bad that entire time, for like the next three sessions while he was still learning. I hit my microphone again. Fuck. Um, but yeah, so he joined, and we have, we officially had an extremely. We officially he took over the role of the human warrior of Kyle's human warrior. Um, but he changed up the stats and went on to make it and made it his own, which I was perfectly fine with. But he stuck with the human fighter. Um, and so we – like I said, we had a, a per, we had a good party. We had me and Alex as the two main fighters. Um, Magic Thunder and Haphazardness were the ranged fighters. And then we had um, Magic Thunder's mom who was the, the designated healer. Um and then once uh, – because Alex, he always got picked up by his mom at night. Um, like he got dropped off by his, by his mom. His mom would hang out for a little bit, talk to Magic Thunder's mom and uh, Renee Vian. They would talk for a little bit. Then she would leave and leave Alex with us till the next day where she would come pick him up. Um, well, I guess Alex was talking about how fun it was and whatnot, and his mom was a former gamer herself. She gamed for a little while as well, and she's like, she asked if she could join. And there was some debate going on between everybody. Um, of course, Magic Thunder's mom and Magic Thunder and Alex, they wanted her to join because they're family um but me haphazardness and renavion we didn't it's not that we didn't want her to join but we thought our party was perfect the way it was um i mean haphazardness character pissed us off a lot 
but there was a, but he there was always that there always has to be that one person in the group that pisses somebody off or else it just wouldn't be fun um and so we we thought our party was perfect the way it was and adding a new character new adding a new player in would have uh ruined the flow but of course you know the woman's rule over everybody uh because that's just how life works um and I'm, I'm not trying to be feminist or anything but I mean, when for those of you who don't know, once you get older, you will realize that it's no. There's no point in arguing with women because either you win and they like, like either you'll win the argument, but you'll get cold shouldered or like they'll just leave or whatever for a little while, or you lose the or you'll lose, and you won't hear the end of it. Um. So. Like, there's no point in arguing with them because no matter what happens, you always come out on the shit end of the stick. Um, but, yeah, so whenever you – so uh, Magic Thunder's mom uh, ruled over us and said she's going to jo- – she can jo- – wait, wait, she didn't really – and we're back. Sorry about that again. I accidentally hit the fucking space bar and I couldn't finish – and it like stopped my entire audio recording, I guess. I don't know. I had to fix that. Um, but yeah, anyways, where were we? Again. Uh, oh, yeah. So we kind of made a compromise and said, okay, she can join us for a game or two and we'll see how it works. And it worked out pretty well. She created a paladin and things were going really smoothly for a while there. Um, she came back. She, we decided to let her stay in the group. And for like two or three sessions after that, things went smoothly. I mean, we had some problems with uh haphazardous care we all we all had problems with each other's character i guess um my character was the most liked out of everybody because i didn't really do anything i was a true neutral character and i didn't really piss anybody off um but then things started to go way downhill because um her her paladin was really like ah, i hit my microphone again i need to stop doing that um but her paladin was i guess really religious like more religious than a paladin should have been and she oh, or no matter where she went she would always try and spread the word of her god she's like okay paladin religious religion i get it she could spread the word of her god all she wants i mean the cleric did that too um but the problem was with Magic Thunder's mom and Alex's mom, which is Magic Thunder's aunt, um, they um, they had a compl- they had a much older fash- old fashioned way of playing the game because they grew up they get, grew up gaming to where like they had an old fashioned version of play- of gaming. And they always stuck together no matter what happened. And then you had me, Magic Thunder, Haphazardness, and Alex, who were the newest, who were just starting out gaming. And we, um, we ended up, the, we, we played the way we wanted to play it, which was we wanted to have a lot of fun with it. Um, I mean, everybody wants to have fun with their gaming. And we took it serious at times that it had to be serious. But a lot of times we went and did shit that most people wouldn't think about doing in D&D. Like that most people who played D&D for a long time wouldn't think about doing. And even even our GM was happy with the way that me, Magic Thunder, Haphazardness, and Alex were playing the game. Because we were enjoying ourselves. We were playing it the way we thought was fun. And um, Tyler and Alex's moms, they didn't, they didn't... It's not that they didn't like the way we were playing, but they played it in a more serious way. Where it's like, okay, we have to follow this mission, and we can't do anything else because we'll get sidetracked, and stuff like that. And one of our missions was we met a lich, and the lich asked us to retrieve a book. Um, So we did that, and we we skipped the entire adventure doing so, because we met a jinn, and we just wished for the book to be be there. But, and so, uh, Renavion, since he didn't have anything planned, like, since he didn't plan on us, like asking for the book he uh he let it happen and he didn't have anything written down for that um so what he did was he we brought it back to the, we brought 
the book back to the Lich, and the Lich uh, opened the book, and apparently there was supposed to be an amulet. There was supposed to be an amulet inside the book, um, and we didn't know that. All we did was ask for the book. We didn't ask for whatever was in the book because we didn't know anything was in the book. Um, so it it was either, and so it was either go and find the amulet, um, although we didn't really like need to find the amulet the lich said we technically did what he asked so we didn't need to go f- but if we were to find the amulet we would have gotten like a prize or whatever um but the guy who had the amulet who stole the amulet at, at first an npc was like long gone like they were three months up a river or like a lake or whatever and we would have never caught him unless we just pursued that and I guess that's what um, Tyler and Alex's mom and aunt, they wanted to pursue that one. But Tyler's character, who at this point was... At this point, we switched everything to 5th edition. Like, we were still pretty much the same exact characters, but we switched everything to 5th edition. And we were... And at this point, Tyler's character was a druid. Um, it was his second character... Because his first character was a bard and it died like almost immediately because it's a fucking bard. Um, and so his he had some flaws in his character. Like everyone does, like, you get certain like personality traits and flaws for your character that you're not forced to play, but it's kind of a guideline on how you should how you should play your character and whatnot, or how your character is going to act, um, and how you can play your character. Well, one of he played his flaws and personality traits to like the max. And one of them was uh, family and nature are the most are most important to him. And he get, received a letter from his aunt in game, like not his real aunt, but his character's aunt in game sent him a letter saying that she needed help with something, and that was going to be our new main mission, um, because I guess that was supposed to be the adventure after we got the book for the Lich, uh, which we completely skipped. So we fast forwarded to that adventure. And we made it to this town. And all, but all uh, Tyler's mom and aunt wanted, uh, well, Magic Thunder, well, Tyler now, because you guys know his fucking name. Um, he, um, the, all his mom and aunt wanted to do was fa- try and find the amulet. That's all they wanted to do. That was the mission they were focused on, and they wouldn't do anything else. To where the rest of us wanted to follow the mission of Tyler's uh, character's aunt. And let's we could do that. So once we made it to this town, he asked he we settled there for a few days and whatnot, and he decided to go and try and because this was the town we were supposed to meet her at, but she wasn't there, and we got word that she was like in the sewers being held captive or something like that. Um, and so what had happened was his character went down into the sewers. He asked me for help. He asked my character for help in the matter. But, um... I didn't know exactly where he was going. So... I just kind of kept... My character just kind of kept doing what he was doing every day. And so... Tyler's character went down to the sewers by themselves. By himself. And immediately got kidnapped. And that was the end of his, like, second or third character. Because Tyler goes through characters like fucking everyone goes like you go through underwear like he he makes a new character like every three sessions um so yeah um he so that and that was the end of that um and so all all his mom and aunt still wanted to do was go after that fucking amulet and it pissed us off Because we didn't want to go after the fucking amulet. That adventure was over, and we didn't have to go after it anymore. So, what had happened was every like everything just went everything just kept going downhill. Like our our group went from being really cohesive to arguing all the time. Like we had game sessions get cut short. Like we had a two hour. We didn't even. We had like just barely in one hour game session one night because. Our GM, Renavion, he had to end it because no one could see. I Like, it was pretty much like a four against two situation 
where it was me, Tyler, uh, Haphazardness, and Alex against Tyler's mom and aunt. And it, Renavion wasn't going to have that. And so we stopped gaming for like two set. We, we, we stopped gaming for like two weeks to let every, to like let everybody cool off and whatnot. And then we came back and he threw us into one of the most deadly dungeons, quote unquote, there was supposed to be in order to force us to work get together. Well, we didn't do that shit either. So, and so what happened instead was he's like, all right, fuck this. Um, we're just going to create new characters and you're all going to be some form of good alignment. Like you can be neutral good, lawful good, chaotic good, chaotic neutral, um, or you can either be neutral good, lawful good, uh, lawful neutral, or chaotic good. You couldn't be any evil. You couldn't be like true neutral. You had to be uh, something that had to do with goodness. So I'm so that brings us up to now, where our group is a lot more coherent than normal than we usually than we used to be because of. Um, the fact that we're all like the same alignment pretty much and we all have different characters now we're level like five or four something like that um but yeah so we created completely new characters and that leaves me up to now where uh tyler he is now at job core and he um he went he went to Job Corps, and he won't be, and he wouldn't be back. He won't be back for another month or two. Like he only comes back on holidays, or when he doesn't have anything to do on the weekends, he'll come. He'll take the bus back and visit his family for the weekend, and then that'll be it. He'll go back to Job Corps until he can come back again. Um, and because of that, we didn't want to continue playing Fifth Edition without him. And also, Renavion was running Fifth Edition so much, he was starting to get burnt out on fantasy. So now what we're doing is we're playing Traveler, and what Traveler is is it's a game where you you it's like a it's like a space game pretty much like you are a crew on your own ship and with that ship you can um you can go and do adventures like you can rate like you can take on like space pirates you can go on adventures to different planets and well like it's pretty much mass effect just think mass effect at this point um so yeah we're we're doing that now um and i've been getting and like for a while now i've been gming deadlands um in fact this weekend i'm having a session in deadlands and it's going to be wicked awesome uh so yeah um and i'm not the only one who's taken up the whole gming thing haphazardness has his own online group that he runs and alex is just is trying to find a group to gm uh D, D with right i'm the only one out of our group that doesn't gm D, D. I mean tyler was going to gm mutants of uh, the game mutants and masterminds and i was really looking forward to it because what we were going to do was um they were gonna we were gonna switch days between mutants and masterminds and D and D, but that never happened because uh, Tyler never was able to finish his campaign for D and for uh, mutants and masterminds, and so we just kept playing D and D. And then he went to Job Corps before he can even start it. Um, I wasn't even able to finish creating my character for mutants and masterminds, so yeah, that happened. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I do have plenty of other stories, but. I do have plenty of other stories about game sessions, but I'll probably add that to my RPG reading series, so that way you guys aren't like... So that way I can get some content on that channel, and you guys won't keep hearing like random adventures that I've created, or that somebody else has created, or I just read out of the book about to tell you what, you guys, what Deadlands is pretty much about and whatnot, so... Um, yeah, uh, that's, so if you guys want to see that, post in the comments below. Um, and I'll tell you guys, like, I'll tell you, I'll put, record myself telling you guys a story about D&D &D or Deadlands or whatever. Um, and, yeah, so post in the comments below what you guys want to see me, if you guys want to see that. Um, and post in the comments below if you're a gamer and what games do you play. Because um, I'd love to hear what you, what games you guys play. 
Uh, and if you need any tips, you can you can ask me. Like I said, I've been gaming for six years now. So, uh, yeah. So go ahead, post the comments below about all that stuff I told you about. Um, and if you haven't if you haven't tried role playing, um, go for I say go for it. Um, give it at least a shot because it's a lot f it's a lot funner than people think. Um, well, funner is not a word, but it's a lot more fun than people think. Um, and it's not, and you, you would be, you might be classified as a nerd, who knows, but I mean, who the fuck cares? You're having fun with your friends, right? So, um, yeah, uh, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, post in the comments below about all that stuff I said before. Also, link in the description to Magic Thunder, Renave, GM Renave, Damsels and Dingbats with GM and Renavion. And haphazardness all in the description below. Uh, they're all good people, so definitely check them out. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is, as always, Cool Mama Jamma, and I will see you guys later. Stay cool, Jammas. See ya!